Okay, well then. Okay, welcome, uh, and thanks, uh, uh, Eric. So, uh, <laughs> you're, you're on tour, uh, a European tour, and uh, it's pretty rare bands come to France, and most of the time they just maybe come once. Uh, you play a several uh, town now, mm -hmm. so um, how did you get those uh, those dates? Well, Jen and I run this music agency called Beyond Agency, okay. and we put it together. Jen's from France, I'm from the U.S. Right. So, uh, but um, I, besides, um, immediately um, post pandemic in um, 2021. I've never played in France, and it seemed like <clears throat> it seemed like a, a smart idea, you know. Huh. But how did you get to all this small town? Because it's pretty hard for uh, well, U.S. band to to know all this small town. Well, just because the town is small doesn't mean it doesn't rock, you know. Yeah. What I mean? Um, this venue is awesome. It's called Crossroad yeah. Cafe, Music Club, whatever. And um, <clears throat> they got a great stage, great lights, great sound on stage. It's it's really um, it's really quite good. So um, I'm pretty excited about this gig tonight. Yeah. But uh, oh, sorry. But every every gig so far has been awesome. Right. And. Uh, you know we've been we've been really lucky with the crowds and and you know uh, it, 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 like it's it's kind of amazing for me how many people from France and, and Europe really care about Wild Street and, and you know I I know you know one season numbers you know on Spotify or YouTube wow. or on Facebook. But like your 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 reach is is like it's it's kind of beyond you. You know what I mean? But this one tour is the farthest reaching tour in Europe. Um, the most I've toured in Europe ever, and huh? and the most that Wild Street has ever toured in Europe, and it's the coolest thing ever. For me. Doing this too, you have just like one day to to just sleep, or what? What do you do between tours? That was yesterday. Yeah. Actually, we had um, a day off, and tomorrow we have a day off, and then we do 20 straight shows, which oh. is kind of a lot. But Jen and I um, talked about it, and I, I think it's the best decision. That way, we can get to the most people and, and see the most fans. On, on this uh, on this one trip, you know. Okay. But it, it, let's let's just say this: I'm I'm kind of old school. I believe that you bring music to people. Oh, welcome to school. <laughs> and uh, I think that the best way that you can ever increase your fan base and have real fans is to go and, and meet them, yeah. and to hang out with them, and I to like that. have them see what you do in real life because you know. The fact is that a lot of bands have great songs, a lot of a lot of bands have great logos and great great pictures, but a lot of bands don't do what what I have done, yeah. what Wild Street has done. And um, you know, uh, I'm lucky this time out I got I got a great band right you know, right now like Andre uh, is playing guitar. He's from Italy and um, Kevin is playing bass and he's from Czechoslovakia. And then I got my buddy Dylan from the band Zenora, who is usually the singering lead guitar player in his band playing drums because that's that was his first instrument. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, and Saturday, um, my buddy Rat Stars from Once Around, also America. Um, it's coming in. He's he's taking over on guitar, and yeah. so uh, you know, like 
we've been killing it every night. So um, I'm, I'm really happy with it, with the band members I chose. So I'll add you too because uh, I seen you you're kind of like the the man of the band. So you compose all the songs in the sets and then you you send the music over to other musicians. How do you do? Uh, well, for um, previous releases, it was it, it's always been different. Actually, the right. first record I did most of it in my apartment in New York City. Oh, the, cool. the second Wall Street Two was recorded in 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 New York City um, at Quad Studios, really, and and other studios in Times Square, right. and it's more of a live band sort of sort of record, and it, it, you know it's not as produced as Wild Street Three or the new the new songs that I'm writing now. Um, but I I never write by myself. I never write. I always co-write. All right. It's for Wild Street because. Um, well, let's say this, I have a bunch of new songs, right, yeah. um, and and we're going to package an EP and then do, you know, the, the full length, just so, because it's been a minute since Wild Street 3 came out, Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, I've been, tra like, I was traveling all fall and all winter, writing and recording with, with great people like uh, it's a featuring record okay so like uh, like for example i wrote a song with with rat stars who's coming and playing guitar on this tour okay. right I, I wrote and uh dave abruziz from pearl jam plays okay. drums all right you know and I, I i wrote a song with my best friend who i started wild street with and uh and then i had uh, uh this dude steve estetoff was uh, you know uh, France's top talent at one point. Uh, you know he sang some backups and, and did some 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 other stuff. And um, I had Eric Eldonius from Billy Idol's band play right. drums. And like there's more. The story is is really long, and I'm not going to bore you with all the details. But I got new music coming. The difference between Wild Street Three and Wild Street Two is obvious. It's somewhat. It's a it's a cross between. Wild Street 1 and Wild Street 2 in terms of production, like a, it is, it's much more produced, but it's still a band record. Yeah. Right. Um, so this is this is kind of a pleasure too because it's something different, you know. Is coming soon or it, it'll come soon um, 
you know, let's face it, I gotta think about my tour first, but sure. um, three songs are at mix right now, All right. and um, I just need to, to, to finish up um, like the last touches on, on maybe one more. Okay. And, uh, and, and then we'll, we'll probably package it with uh, the other songs that were released last year, because it's, you know, it makes sense. So uh, do you compose, dude? Um, a lot of times, uh, but I saw you with a guitar and pedals and so on, but uh, you're mostly singing, so I thought, yeah, maybe you... you... Uh, a lot of times I do, I do it different ways, like, like, sometimes it's with an acoustic guitar, sometimes it's with an electric guitar, sometimes it's with Pro Tools and like, right. sitting there and tracking stuff. But usually what, what has to happen first, in my opinion, is a song, right? Yeah. Before you even think about riffs or whatever, it's about melody and it's about kind of vibe and what vibe you're going for. So sometimes, uh, depending on who I'm writing with, sometimes people send me you know, instrumental tracks, right? Okay. And, and they're like, hey, uh, do you like this? Like Jimmy, for example. Uh -huh. We trade tracks back and forth for years. Wow. Um, and, uh, and then other times it's, it's literally going and sitting there with some people in the room and writing with an acoustic guitar. And I did that with, with my buddy Rastars. I did that with uh, um, uh, a friend of mine in LA and uh, you know many others this year. And it's, it's such a cool experience. And Dylan, who, he's playing drums in Wild Street for this tour. He, <clears throat> he and I wrote a song for his band yeah. um, when he was in Nashville. So I was staying in Nashville. Okay.
Okay, so just um, tell us about uh, the, the fact that you are the image of the band. So most of the musicians are like, uh, I don't know, uh, because they come and then go, uh, uh, is the, the band is, is, is still living, is still uh, going on with uh, th those changes. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it was a decision I made in All right. 2016 when I started the band again. Okay. It's like, you know, everybody you know, can come back, can leave the band, can, you know, everybody, every musician in the world has their own musical goals. Yeah. And I'm, like, let's face it, I'm not going to be the one to hold anybody back, but they're, you know, People who are great are appreciated, and they're always welcome. And uh, I like playing with different people too. It makes it uh, it makes it interesting. And and these dudes are so good that it's like um, it's mind blowing. Really. Okay. So uh, I saw a video where you, you you sang with another girl. So do you have uh, other bands or other commitments? Or? I do everything. All right. <laughs> people send me tracks. I sing on them. People send me tracks that play guitar solos or play guitar parts on them. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I did a lot the past couple of years. Okay. So. so tell me, because, I mean, you started quite a while. Uh, you're about like this big gap between. So, uh, uh, I, I come, you, you have these gaps, and uh, are you going to change this? Or? I did a lot of music then. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I, um, like, the past couple of years, there, it's been, like, kind of, like, figuring out what I wanted to do next. Okay. But, like, between, if you're talking about between Wild Street's hiatus and, and when Wild Street came back, there's so much music that right. if you search my name, you're going to find it. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, and I, you know, I played in other bands. I did, I did a lot of stuff, and I produced a lot of bands, and I taught a lot of lessons. You know, which is my sometimes job, okay. sometimes not. You know what I mean? Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm on tour a lot. So yeah, I see that. <laughs> To this, I'm just wondering how it is for you to. I mean, you played with a lot of bands in big stages and stuff, and now you're coming back to small places uh, like the underground. Uh, how does it feel to to move from the the, the higher no steps? It's a, like every every club, every every show is Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Or, you know, Monsters of Rock. You know, it's like the you know, it's an amazing feeling. And to see people love your music, you know, and it's, you know, 
it makes you feel good. It's <laughs> cool. So that's my, that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to planning to, to make more videos? Uh, yeah, yeah. We actually started discussing a, a music video uh, recording this summer. All right. Um, with, uh, you know, details to be announced. <laughs> <laughs>